Oh. That started the video. Oh, really? Yeah. So you're yeah. gone right now? Yeah. Hi, Dylan's new camera. Been YouTube. Don't be... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, welcome to the channel, guys. Um, I got a new camera, so you can probably tell it looks way better. This is a Canon EOS Rebel SL3. This is going to be a little bit different of a video. I'm trying to do like vlogs and stuff. I don't know how that'll work, but the main focus of it will obviously be cars and go-karts, but I wanted to show a little bit else what I do. It'll probably not normally include the gym and stuff, but this is what I'm doing today because I've got other stuff to do. Um, yeah, we're going to head to the gym, see what happens. I don't really know what we're going to do. Taylor's a CrossFitter now. Uh, I'm not a CrossFitter. <laughs> he's not a CrossFitter. He's a strong boy. But strong boy. he's doing other things today. I'm going to try to be a strong man. But I'm a strong boy. No, you're just a little boy. A little boy that knows about cars. <laughs> I know, I don't know what he's doing. Zach, I got a camera. What? Yeah. My shoulders feel so loose when I catch it at the top. Maybe it's because I'm internally rotating. Who needs to stay out? Where are we going, Butner, baby? Pulp me. Pulp, pulp me, baby. Tape pull away. Tape pull away. Are you filming? Yeah. Dang, I look fat. You look fucking, you look good, bro. That's actually really good quality. Isn't that crazy? Make camera stuff, bro. Will it give me a girlfriend? <laughs> All right, so I actually ended up filming like nothing yesterday after the gym. I had to move all my stuff from school and I had to bring it home, get it out of three cars that were completely full and including my girlfriend's stuff too. So it was, it was just so much stuff. And I just spent all day doing that. So this is the next day I'm now going to be working on go-karts and stuff. So my main goal for today is to make this Motor mount that I made the other day, fully adjustable. Oh, I forgot to mention, I got this go-kart up and running off camera. I was just messing around with my cousins, ended up getting the whole thing running, but there's a lot of issues and I'm pretty much just gonna rebuild the whole thing because we didn't build it right. But today, I wanna get that motor mount done. So I've already started. I extended this hole, but I realized this one wouldn't be able to go in because the original spots would be here to mount so it wouldn't be able to slide so i might have to extend this more so that it will be able to slide and then on the bottom i'm going to cut the the holes diag or horizontally and these will be vertical on the other side so it's horizontally here so it'll be adjustable in every direction and then i'm going to have just four bolt holes there and then i'll have the four bolt holes on the engine mount so every direction will be completely adjustable and it is spaced. I might have to I might have to space it a little higher because I needed to get the air filter over the tire and as of right now it does not fit over the tire. So don't know what I'm going to do about that yet. Also, I hope you guys can hear me because I don't have a mic yet. It's on the way, but this camera is supposed to have a microphone in it. I'm just going to try to speak up a little bit louder and hopefully you guys can hear me. All right, so I thought about it some more and I'm not gonna make this an all directional adjustable thing. So, final plan. I've decided to weld everything on uh, just cause it's pretty much in the right position. And I'm gonna use this piece. I've, you can see the angles I drew in here. Same with this piece. They're two inch squares and then a 15 degree angle. Hopefully that's correct. I can grind it down if it's not. I'm gonna cut these out and weld these to the back of the cart so that the engine mount can be angled.
All right, guys. I look like a mess, but pizza just got here, so I'm gonna take a little break. Uh, just welded both of the little angled pieces, so next we will be welding on the engine mount. So, just got back from eating some pizza. Uh, it was absolutely incredible. But, I wanted to show you guys my welds because these are a little bit better than anything I've done in the past. So, let's see if I can get this to focus. So this one looks a little bit better on camera. I think this one looks better in real life though. These are definitely two of my better welds. My, not my best, but better. I'm getting better, that's a great thing. Um, and I'm still not using gas, so I think it is a little bit harder, I'm not sure. But we're gonna go ahead and see if we can get the mount on, and then we have the engine to put on, and we also got a new chain. Butner, baby! Hit it, Taylor. Hit it real good. Ow! Oh, <laughs> so I just painted the mount and all the and all the metal that was showing and the non-painted spots. I did this to prevent like surface rust and make sure just it kind of stays undamaged. But right now I'm gonna wait for that to dry. But I also got a new chain, so we're gonna start messing with that. And we need to take the old chain off, and that one actually doesn't have a connector, so we're gonna have to break it because I don't feel like taking everything off. And it was just it was just really difficult last time. Almost broke some stuff, so I'm just gonna break it and we can put the new one on. It has two connectors if I ever want to use that chain again. The new one does, so. No problem. All right guys, the motor is now mounted. We just need to tighten everything down and I want to take off the exhaust and try to clean that up and make it look a little shinier. And I can put the intake on now too, just to make sure it fits. The air filter fits, guys. There's a lot of room between these, actually. So that's great. Uh, we're gonna clean up the exhaust next. So the stage one Predator engine is now on the go-kart. If you guys were wondering, it is a stage one Predator. Um, I bought it like the way it is, so I'm not sure if it has the springs done. I'm sure I'll check one day uh, and replace those if I need to, but here's what it looks like right now. This looks way better than it did. The exhaust looks good. The intake fits well. This was tapping too, and that's got plenty of room. All because I, all because I spaced out the engine mount and made it a little bit angled. So everything works great, but I couldn't do you guys a video without at least starting this. And in the past, the past two out of three times that I've started this engine, it shot flames the first pool. So let's see what happens. I hope it does. If it doesn't, it might not, because the last time it didn't, but we'll see.
All right, guys. Uh, you saw it happen. It shot flames. I don't know if you can see it on camera. I'm going to try to get it. I turned down the brightness on my camera a little bit to see if it would get it, so hopefully it did. I'm a mess, so I'm going to I'm going to go clean up and head inside to edit this video, but Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed the new like camera view. I want to get a wide angle lens so it looks a little bit more like a GoPro and I'm not like super close right now. And if I keep looking over, there's a screen. I just need to get used to that. It's way different than GoPro, but I really enjoy this. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. You know, you know how it is, YouTube. See you guys later.